Good morning. Let's talk about a little problem with C and K body cars, DeVille's, basically from late 80s to the late 90s. Let's illustrate the problem here. This is a car I just acquired. Another little project here, but there it is, the problem. The trunk pull down, not working. There's a solution. So what I'm talking about is the, the pull down switch. This is almost always what's going to be bad. In fact, I don't think I've ever had this problem where the solution was not the switch. The problem, if you get one out of a junkyard, if you can still find one, it's likely to be bad just like yours. So they're cheap. You can find these for around 20 or $25 on Amazon or eBay. And it's still, they're still made. This is a GM part, or at least they're still available. But uh, we'll get into this thing. Basically, you just gotta take this, this back shield off to access all of this. So we'll do that real quick. It's just a matter of just a few Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna take that loose. So the screws are loose, very simple. This piece just comes off, giving you access to the motor and the switch itself. Very simple. Now I'm in no man's land because I'm wearing my glasses. My bifocal part is not big enough. So you take that loose. Oh, this part comes loose too. I think someone's been in here. This is one of those um, clips that threads on, it looks like. So someone's had this open before. Probably got this far and didn't know what to do. But we basically just have to take this switch off. I think it's Torx. Yeah, a couple of Torx screws or maybe yeah, I think that's what it is. And you can see from the replacement, it's it's um, it fits like in a a groove. And then you got a torque screw here. I'm gonna get this loose. Okay, you need a T15 to get into here. It's, it's very simple. Of course, the one plug, that's all the electric. Magnetized, that helps. And this piece just pulls off. There's the, the plug where the contact goes there, the plug here, very simple. Simple idea, plug and play. The only trick really is making sure everything lines up going in. And then not dropping the screw. That's the other tough part. So we don't have to put it back together to test it. <clears throat> Look at there. Now admittedly I did not test the old switch. Technically that would be better, but I was very confident based on my experience that this was going to be the issue. Also, it's worth noting that if you have a 90s car, 94 and up, your access to the pull-down is going to be a little bit different than this one, which is a 93. So 89 to 93 would be the same. I don't know what goes wrong with these switches. I don't know if they come apart on the inside or what. They're, they're not serviceable, technically. I mean, they've got some rivets, but I guess if you really wanted to know, you could open one up. But for 20 bucks, I don't see it being worth the trouble. So once again, there's that nice sound. Nothing makes a car look worse than the trunk being sprung. This is a 93 sedan DeVille that I've got to uh, freshen up some. You don't usually buy a lot of these cars, although they were really good cars. Just a really quick preview. I'm not gonna get into it very deeply, but there's why. There's why I bought it. 30,000 miles. Ugh, one owner. So, keep your eyes open for this one.